artificial intelligence is creating 3D models just from text prompts, and you can 3D print them. Let's get started. Lately, I've noticed a trend of articles popping up all over the internet talking about AI 3D model generators, and I was immediately interested and wanted to learn more. For years now, I've known that 2D AI image generators have existed and have grown in capability and popularity over the years, but they were never super interesting to me. I imagine that unless you're a graphic designer or a graphic artist of some kind, um, it's just not super useful. It's, it's really neat, but most people probably don't have a practical use for it. 3D models, on the other hand, I also imagine that most people don't have a huge use for, uh, but I think it's really interesting. So unlike 2D images, 3D models could have a lot more use cases. They could be used in video games or to populate AR or VR worlds. And what I've learned is they can also be 3D printed. The first article I noticed came from Google. They created a system that they call Stable Dream Fusion, which I believe they named based on the Stable Diffusion uh, model that creates 2D images. Their system was able to take simple text prompts like a frog wearing a sweater or a corgi nurse plush toy and transform just a text prompt into a full color 3D model. I couldn't help myself, so I went to their website, borrowed all of the example 3D models that were available, and cleaned them up a bit for 3D printing, which took surprisingly less work than I expected. I have shared them on printables if you want to try printing them, and there's a link in the description. So after Google got the ball rolling, from what I understand, someone looked at their paper and how their system worked and created an open source version that works really similarly. I was looking through the GitHub and it looks like if you have a little bit of programming knowledge and an NVIDIA CPU, you can actually get the open source version running on your computer and start generating AI models from just text prompts. I don't quite have the level of computer skills and programming skills to get that running on my computer, but if you do try it out, I would love to hear how it works. Again, I will link in the description. It's worth noting that at this point in time, this method of generating 3D models isn't perfect, which makes total sense because we're just seeing articles published that it's even possible. The GitHub for the open source version, for example, suggests that a lot of text prompts will fail. There's also a known problem called the Janus problem, where especially when you're generating uh, models that would have a face, it tends to create multiple faces depending on what angle you view the model from, and the results are truly from nightmares. Regardless, I think the technology is very cool, and I'm excited to see how it improves over time. It seems like just a few years ago, I was first reading about 2D AI image generators, and they weren't very good and had to run on really powerful computers. If you fast forward to today, that couldn't be more false. You can find a ton of different free AI image generators that will run in your browser. Some have even been implemented into tools like Blender or Canva, and the results are way better than anything you would get from the first 2D image generators that popped up. If you happen to be a 3D sculptor, I think this technology could be something to really look into and start playing with. I don't know for sure, but I imagine that if you could just enter a text prompt and get a 3D mesh that was pretty close to what you were going for, you could then go in and sculpt and modify things and correct colors and possibly really accelerate your process going from an idea to a finished 3D model. When I think about what this technology could look like years and years down the road, I think that's maybe even more exciting. I imagine that someone could say to a smart TV or a smart speaker, uh, hey, I want a 
Victorian-inspired lamp, just as an example. That information could then be fed to an AI 3D model generator and show the person a preview of the product that they wanted. A person could make uh, changes or suggestions, again, powered by the AI, and then that product could be sent to local manufacturing or 3D printing of some kind before being shipped to their door. I imagine that if something like this improves over time, we could have a lot more different products, unique products, uh, and make the world a lot more interesting in that way. Let me know what you think about this topic and let me know if you actually end up printing any of the AI generated models that I cleaned up for you. Again, link is in the description to printables where you can find those and play around with them. Be kind to each other and happy printing.